Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Olivia, or you can call me Liv, and welcome. I want to start off by saying I apologize about the lighting. It's currently 8.30 at night, so I don't have any light. <laughs> uh, so I'm using a horrible light. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I pack for an overnight hospital stay. Um, just a single night admission because I go in for surgery tomorrow. Today is Monday. My surgery is Tuesday. So I just wanted to show you kind of the things I pack. Because I'm only staying one night, I'm not bringing a lot of stuff with me. Um, it also helps that I had pretty much this exact same surgery before, so I kind of know what I ended up using that I packed last time versus what I didn't. And it helped me kind of gear what I pack this time and pack a lot less. So let's get right into it. This is the backpack that I'm going to be using. It's actually my school backpack, but because all my classes are online, it's not in use and it holds the right amount of stuff that I need. Um, so this is the bag that I'm using. Uh, again, I'm not bringing much, so I don't need a big bag. The first thing that I packed are two different um, changes of clothes. Uh, these are mainly for when I come home. When I'm there, since it's only a single night admission, it's just easier to stay in the gown, especially because like of all the stuff that goes on while I'm there, um, it's just easier. So I have two different types, I guess, to come home. When I came home from my surgery in September, um, I did not wear pants for two weeks. Didn't, because <laughs> it hurt. My incisions were kind of right where my pant line was, so I end up wearing this very, very, very long shirt, and it kind of worked as a dress. I'll put in a picture right here of actually what I looked like when I left the hospital. Um, this is from Aerie, but I got it at Marshall's, so this, and I have shorts because it is kind of colder this time, um, but then I also have a pants outfit in case I can actually put on pants this time because I would kind of rather wear pants outside now than wear a dress and shorts. So moving on to the next item that I'm bringing is I'm bringing a blanket. Any of you that have been admitted to the hospital, you know that their blankets are not warm enough. Like as many times as you get those warm, like heated up blankets and like they can give you like five of them. They're act they're really thin, so they're not the warmest and also having a blanket of your own is kind of just like a little bit of home like comfort. Uh, I didn't bring a blanket with me last time, like my admission in September and I regretted it. So this time I'm actually bringing a blanket. So that's next. So this is also a little bit different than what I brought last time with me. Last time I brought pretty much all of my electronics for one night and I used none of them. Um, this time, however, I am bringing my iPad and my AirPods. These I did use last time I was admitted, um, which was a good thing. Headphones, you need headphones <laughs> when you're in the hospital. Uh, thankfully, because of the whole thing that's going on right now in the world, I had a single um, and I think I'm gonna have that again this time, I'm not sure, but I didn't have a roommate, so I didn't have to worry about that. Um, and it was pretty quiet. The rooms at this hospital have a pretty big entryway until you get into the hallway. You have some distance between you and other patients, um, but still, if patients are being loud, headphones. And then my iPad, because if I wanna watch Netflix or something, this is just easier to pull out and set up because my case actually stands up like a little laptop almost. Um, I can just prop Netflix up on here or YouTube and watch instead of having to pull out my laptop from my bag. <laughs> so these two things are coming. Going off the same electronics group, obviously my cell phone is coming with me. I mean, why not? And also I don't have them on my bed yet because I'm using them tonight, but I'm bringing uh, my charger. I actually have a 10 foot um, phone charger, which is also compatible with my iPad, so it's kind of like two-in-one, um, but that's the charger that I bring because it's easier to plug into the wall and reach to my bed. Um, so I'm bringing my phone and my 10-foot charging cable with me. <laughs> so the next thing that's kind of straightforward is medication. Um, I'm only bringing the meds that the hospital like wouldn't supply. I'm only bringing medications that are like my PRNs, not ones that they're going to administer me while I'm there. 
Um, I actually barely touched my own meds when I was there the last time, but I always just like to bring them just in case, especially if they don't have them on hand. I like to bring my own, so medication. Tomorrow morning, I am actually putting my hair into two Dutch braids for when I go into surgery because last time I just, I left it down um, and it got kind of naughty while I was there, even though I stayed one night, it got kind of gross. Um, and like knotted, <laughs> so I'm gonna braid it for tomorrow. But I am bringing this really big scrunchie and I brought this the last time I was there and I actually used it and just like threw my hair up into a bun. If you follow me on Instagram, you know the bun I'm talking about. So I am bringing a big scrunchie. I'm probably gonna leave my hair in braids the whole time, but scrunchie. Kind of the last thing on my list that I'm bringing um, is more so for the ride home, but also like right when you're waking up, I'm bringing a Squishmallow. <laughs> he can kind of act as like a pillow, but when I had my surgery the last time, I used him to like hold on to when I had to cough or if I had to sneeze, because abdominal surgery is one of the hardest surgeries to go through, and it's one of the most painful because you use your abdominal muscles for everything, so when you cough, it hurts. <laughs> so um, I also held on to him the entire car ride home because my hospital is an hour away from where I live and an hour long car ride after a major surgery sucks. <laughs> so I am bringing him with me this time as kind of a pillow and a like support. <laughs> I'm also bringing uh, my favorite stuffed animal. Yes, I am 19 and I have a stuffed animal that I can't sleep without, not really, but he just has like emotional attachment. I don't know, I, my mom got him for me in the hospital gift shop after I had my tilt table test a few years ago. I don't know, he's just kind of been with me since then, um, so I'm gonna bring them because why not? <laughs> I'm also bringing some stuff that I didn't mention but is kind of self-explanatory, like any personal hygiene items like your toothbrush, deodorant, things like that, underwear. I am bringing stuff like that but I'm not gonna like show it here but it's packed. <laughs> That's pretty much every single thing that I'm bringing with me for this admission. Again, it's an overnight so I probably overpacked for just a single night. Um, but I'd rather have more stuff than forget about something. Yeah, at least I'm hoping it's just one night and there's less complications than last time. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you haven't already and you'd like to, you can click the subscribe button down below and stay a while. We'd love to have you. If you like this video, you can give it a good old thumbs up and leave a comment if you have any questions down below and I'd always answer them. Bye!